is made up of three parts, the outer, the middle, and the inner. It's the inner ear that's most sensitive to prolonged periods of exposure to loud noises or a single loud noise over a certain decibel that creates wear and tear or death to certain cells of the inner ear. Protecting your hearing always begins by just limiting the amount of exposure you have. Seeing your audiologist regular and consistently for testing, um, and then just getting a good uh, pair of uh, hearing protection. The protection themselves comes in two types, active and passive. The passive types are just insulation that you stick in the, um, the canal of the outer ear, uh, such as these cool little sponges, which are foreign fit. Um, now they have firm, more firm uh, uh, rubber or sponges or plastic ones uh, that you can just shove them in there. Um, the only problems with those is they may irritate the canal itself. You also have cans or earmuffs. These um, dramatically reduce the amount of decibels heard, uh, but the only bad thing about these is that they're kind of bulky. Or you can use a combination of the, of the two. The only problems with that is that you might not hear somebody talking, such as the range uh, uh, safety officer trying to give you uh, commands and so forth. So that might be an issue. They also have another option where you can get custom made ones done. And it's um, a gel silicone or a gel rubber with a hardener that they inject in your ear. You sit there for a little bit of time until they firm up a little bit. And then they um, take them out, clean them up for you and then they add leashes so you won't lose them. But the good thing about these is that they're specifically shaped for your canal and they're pretty impressive as far as uh, um, uh, decibel reduction. Active protection is just the utilization of the technology from an electronic circuit. Um, it provides two different types of function. One of them is that it can take the sound wave and compress them, or it can take the sound wave and just cancel them out. So you have a noise canceling or a compression circuitry, depending on what type of uh, um, electronic circuit uh, or uh, protection that you purchase. An example of the active protection, I have the ESPs. The ESPs are digitalized earplugs, which are custom made. Uh, you go to an audiologist, they fit you, they send the molds to the company, and the co company sends you back your uh, plugs. The plugs themselves uh, have a uh, compression circuitry uh, installed. The compression circuitry allows um, dangerous uh, decibel uh, sound waves in, and what it does is it cuts off the, uh, the high dangerous peaks and then you only hear the uh, more safer median um, sound waves. Uh, they are fantastic. I used them for about eight years now. I sent them in uh, uh, one time to get updated and cleaned and um, uh, the dials were a little uh, worn a little bit so they uh, fixed all that and then they sent them back to me. Uh, they're like brand new. Um, well, they are brand new, so, um, but they, they work fairly well. I have issue with them in indoor ranges. So when the decibels get to somewhere around about 130 to 150 decibels, it starts to get a little uncomfortable and I notice that I have to use uh, additional passive uh, protection like uh, headsets and so forth. But uh, other than that, outdoor ranges, I don't have any issues. Uh, wearing them for long periods of time, especially being like a, a safety officer at a match and so forth, I don't, I don't even notice them. Uh, I do notice them when uh, um, uh, the open guys, the USPSA guys, uh, use the major uh, loads. Uh, they get a little loud, um, and uh, the percussion, uh, I definitely feel that. Uh, but I just add an extra set of uh, um, passive protection, and I'm good to go. Uh, other than that, I would have to say that um, uh, the difference between that and digital uh, headsets the digital headsets, uh, they not only do they provide you great passive protection, but the digital circuitry added into this can uh, uh, take care of, uh, I would have to say, majority of 
uh, any type of uh, um, uh, shooting that you do uh, and you will remain comfortable. The only problem is that they're bulky so they might get in uh, the way of uh, rifles that are up by, by your cheek um, and the uh, compression that these provide on the outer ear can uh, be a little uncomfortable for a long, uh, a after a long period of time. Uh, those are the only problems that I have with uh, the uh, headsets, but I still got a pair because sometimes I'll need an additional pair of uh, uh, protection, so and that's exactly what I use. But which protection is best suited for you? Depending on your needs, that will determine which one is best suited for you. My recommendation, at the very least, get properly fitted so you'll have plugs that are comfortable to wear and they provide the best protection uh, that is possible. Thank you for helping the channel grow. And like always, be safe and I'll see you on the range.